Cove. So we give a, a nice, warm, Haligonian welcome to Mr. Mark Black. Before I do that, I am going to share some of my story with you, but it's really important to me that you understand the motivation behind that. Because I don't share the story so that you think I'm special or I'm different, so that you admire me. Oh, parents in the room? How many people? Parents, yeah. Okay, so imagine this scenario if you can. Make this the day you can look back on in a year, in five years, in ten years, and say, that was the day that my business changed. That was the day when we accelerated growth. That was the day when we turned things around. A great day. Thanks very much, folks. Take care. Here somewhere, maybe we can find him, maybe we're not. I did find his picture in a bathroom stall in the bathroom, though, so somebody was obviously really excited to see Kevin come here. All right, I'm gonna lie down and try out this laptop tray. What are you looking for? Um, what are you offering? Do you have any like full service vacations or are they? That's what we do. Oh, full service vacations. <laughs> sure. Car share and all that. So we can share this tiny little car. <laughs> You can join. You can join hundreds of others Haligonians that are sharing cars all over Halifax and Dartmouth. Look who I found on the floor here. I found Phil. You're the guy responsible for putting this whole thing on. Is this Kevin's first time in Halifax? This is not Kevin's first time. Oh, he knows all about us. Then he knows how to take us down here. Our offbeat sense of humor. We love to spend money. That's, he's got to love that fact. That's right. He loves money. He told me I never met him. Hey, you want me to go with you? No, he's like, do we know her? Did she? I feel like weeping. It's absolutely crucial to have an event like this, like the Halifax Entrepreneurship Expo. As I witnessed, not only is it motivating people and exciting them to think uh, a little outside of the box, but also the gathering and the connectivity. There were so many business deals going on right after the talk just by virtue of people talking and being open about what their needs were. People weren't scared to talk about what they needed. And then for that, they got what they wanted. Hi, I'm Bill Wallace with the Old Orchard Inn and Spa down from Wolfville in the Annapolis Valley. Uh, this is our first year at the uh, Expo and it's actually very good. Hello. <laughs> Are you pointing that thing at me? I am pointing. Hi, yeah. It's been great. The show is wonderful. It's one of the best networking shows I've been to. And we do quite a lot of trade shows. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? The very last part of this is, I want you to do whatever it is you decide to do and do it today. You don't have it tomorrow. If you live like that, you will not believe what you will accomplish. We work with a couple designers around the world. One of them is Arthur Callum in Oda, Brazil. Those people who knew me as a marketer and an advertising guy. I started my business and within three works, three weeks, I knew that that business plan was in the toilet. We all know that anyone that's a successful entrepreneur, you create a vision, you have a lot of passion and you have a great outcome. A little inspiration, a little motivation to continue on their path and overcome the hurdles that they encounter along the way. We've cleaned out pretty well. Yeah. We have cleaned out pretty well today. <laughs> there was something here for everyone. Yeah, yeah.